Hello and welcome to Toy Ploy 2 and today we have another sticker recreation video. I was recently contacted by James who asked if I could help remake the stickers for a vintage Takara rocket firing R2-D2 which is a fairly rare figure so unlikely that anyone else is going to have scans available for it. Luckily for me he had saved a few stickers off of his R2-D2 and scanned them in and that was where I was able to start this project taking those scans and working on top of them. The toy itself is fairly simple and only has a few stickers on it so it wasn't going to be much of a job to recreate them all from scratch. I knew the stickers had been scanned in at 300 dpi so I set myself up a new file at that same resolution and then started cutting out the first ones that I wanted to work on. The easiest was going to be this front panel of R2-D2 so I cut that out, made a new file, dropped it into it and started drawing on top. Just using basic tools to make a block and the one tool to make the extra details you'll notice on this that I did actually make one error which was the angle snapped to 45 degrees. I rectified that in the final file but I didn't actually notice it at the time I was making this. The next sticker to work on was the Star Wars logo and that's actually a fairly straightforward one to do as well because there are fonts out there that contain every single Star Wars logo that's been made. So I simply copied and pasted the original sticker and then went through my selection of fonts until I found the one that contained the correct logo. I then added a few little modifications to it because I could see that there were some lines added around the edge of it and I just added those using layer effects until I was happy. The next few stickers are all there to add details to the fairly basic toy of R2-D2 and these are just grey panels with black lines over the top of them. None of them are particularly complicated as they really do just use circles and squares. A couple of them were missing but luckily I had a photo of an original sticker sheet and I could use that as reference and use the stickers that I did have as a way to get the scale correct for all of them. Thank you. 
As this next sticker was fairly damaged, I had to study the photograph of the original sticker sheet to work out exactly what it was supposed to be. It's essentially a long blue sticker with a slightly curved end and a little bit of detail over the top. The photograph really helped in this instance because there was so much damage on top of the original sticker. It was actually quite hard to see what was going on. But once I'd worked it out, you could again see it was a fairly simple design, just with an odder shape at the end of it that looked a little bit like a B combined with an E. The final two stickers to create were the simplest because they were essentially bars of colour. Using the scan I could get the scale of the first one. The longer blue sticker was missing completely but I could use the red and blue stripe to work out how long that should be. And then it was a case of making them all look neat and tidy and adding all of my typoloid details to the file. This file is now available for free from toyploy.com, so if you have one of these Takara missile firing R2-D2s, go there, download the file, print it out onto some A4 sticky backed printer paper at 100% and you're good to go. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching.